All right, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a very simple, easy way to run Windows 7 in 2023. So as you may know, support for Windows 7 was discontinued in 2020, and so it's very hard to find an ISO file, but here I'm gonna show you how to run Windows 7 without needing a donor computer or having to actually flash a USB stick or find a installation media DVD disc or anything crazy like that. You can do this right from within the comfort of Windows 10 or 11, and it's only going to take 15 minutes. So let's get right into it. Right, the first thing we need to do is just find a disk image file. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on to webarchive.com. And I'll just type in Windows 7 ISO. And make sure to restrict the time to 2020 because that's when they ended uh, support. And we'll just look for one from the Microsoft official site that has the most views. Now go ahead and click on the ISO image drop down under download options. And I'm going to select Windows 7 Professional. Now this is going to take a while, so go ahead and open a new tab and search Virtual Box, and just click the first link. This is all pretty self-explanatory here, but click the gigantic download Virtual Box 7.0 banner or whatever version they're currently on when you watch this video, and then just select uh, Windows Host. Wait for it to download, click on the little downloads tab, and then it should be pretty straightforward again. Just follow all of the prompts until you have VirtualBox downloaded. And so that's pretty much it, and in the meantime, while all this was going on, hopefully your ISO downloaded. All right, and by now, hopefully your ISO is downloaded, and go ahead and just copy it to your desktop so you know where it's at. Now I'm gonna open up VirtualBox. And when it opens, go ahead and click New. And here we're going to go into Expert Mode, because I think that's actually easier. And then for name, put Windows 7 or something like that. And we're just going to select the one that's on Desktop by click Other and go to Desktop. And here it is. Here's our Windows 7 Professional. Now, that's all fine. Check mark, skip unattended installation and then under here under hardware we're going to go and give ourselves about five gigs of ram just enough to run uh windows 7 so it shouldn't need much and then hard disk will give ourselves like 50 gigabytes again should just be enough to play around with and all this is fine now go ahead and uh, click finish and it should start loading up over here in the preview after we click start, sorry. And you can see here our Windows is starting up in the uh, separate virtual box task. I mean, uh, yeah, separate virtual box task. And it ended up just like you're downloading Windows to a brand new computer. And you can see here, here's our uh, 50 gigabyte hard drive that we've created in the virtual box, and that's what you want to download to. All right, and here you can see it's just rebooting, and don't press anything here, because we just want it to run through all of its stuff Oh, I lost it on the other screen. Now 
And there it reboots again. And hopefully this time we should actually get to the uh, desktop. Uh, let's see. Just put uh, MJR. There we go. And just click next because you don't need a password. We'll use recommended settings and there we go. We're on a home network and again the virtual box is going to simulate all of this so you don't even need to connect to Wi-Fi or anything. Your uh, computer's already hooked up to Wi-Fi. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there, we're in. Alright, now you may notice it's uh, kind of small. So in order to uh, get this to run larger, we have to download a uh, VirtualBox driver so that it'll interface better with uh, Windows 7. And so just insert Guest Edition CD up here at the top from Devices. Alright, and there it finally popped up. It took a second to load, but... After this, just click run. Yes. Click through all the prompts and install. Alright, that's it. Now it'll reboot and hopefully we should have full screen. There you go. Wait a second. Still kinda weird. Alright, now go up to the top in machine or view, sorry. And we can put uh, full screen mode. Yes. And there we are. Now, of course, the resolution's wrong, so just right click and go to screen resolution. And we'll just jack this all the way up and click apply. I think that's about uh, the best we're gonna get. I did. Uh, Get it looking better on a different monitor but i think this one is a slightly different uh aspect ratio than the other one but it's it's fine it's better and now you can see we can access the internet already and um it's not like we had to connect to wi-fi or anything and all our files are here and i think there's some um yeah there's some stock music on here so yeah, it's all there good old windows 7 and this is great for running any test simulations or anything like that you might want to do or just playing around with it um however if you actually want to try and get any sort of real internet connection internet explorer is far out of date and has all kinds of problems so you're gonna have to figure out a way to download chrome and last time i did this i had quite a hard time Like I said before, um, Internet Explorer is no longer supported. So let's just say Chrome. And this web page probably isn't going to. Oh, it is. It's going to load up. I don't think this one's working. A lot of them won't. Let's try this one. Oh, it's gonna let it. Okay, excellent.
All right, and there you go. We can see Chrome is opened up for us, and that'll make it much easier to surf the web because Chrome is far more supported. Even the Windows 7 version is far more supported than uh, Internet Explorer is, so now we can go do whatever, and it should work just fine. Alright, and now if you want to actually transfer any files over into the virtual box, you can just go down here to Devices, click drag and drop, and I'll just select um, bi-directional so I can drag stuff. I can move stuff not only from Windows 7 to my regular home desktop or from Windows 11 into the virtual box. So let me just quickly here, previous videos in here just show you that it works all right so it appears that I've locked it up and if I want to solve this I can just go input keyboard and I'll click insert control delete and we can find test manager and I'll just click end task and now if I want to open up something like um, Media Center, or, uh, yeah, which is the reason why I actually did this, just because Windows Media Center is no longer offered in Windows 10 or 11. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if there's maybe some more drivers, but again, you could play around with all this, so. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna need some other drivers or something in order to make this work. But anyways, when you're uh, done and ready to shut down the program, you just click close down here under file, and I'll select power off the machine, okay. And there we go, we're back to our virtual box. And whenever you want to run it again, you could just select from here and click start. And it should open back up and have all of your information saved. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and can get lots of use out of it.